Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and once again, it's time for Ratty Patty Tales. And Ratty Patty was on the road recently. I got a new Ratty Patty story. First, I got a new book, Alien Mysteries, Conspiracies, and Cover-Ups by Kevin Randall. There's a sh sh whole chapter in here about the airships of 1897. What I want to know is why nobody ever got a photograph of those they were seen all over the country but not one photograph anywhere very strange okay here's what's happening with the ratty one i'm gonna i want to see what this looks like i'm gonna flip these down i can't see the screen at all <laughs> but i wanted to see what it looks like so i'll look at this later um the ratty one decided that she would go out and get a van. Now, Kathy's sitting there. The ratty one shows up. After telling Kathy on the phone, "Let's, I can buy this van for $250 and fix it up and sell it. Now, mind you, Kathy has no car. Ratty has Toyota car, white, black, a Hyundai station wagon, and now a van. And then to top it off, stupidly, she spends every dime she's got. Now, this is the 8th of May, and they did this on Friday or Saturday. I'm not clear on this. In the last two days, anyway. Patty spends every dime she's got to get this Ratmobile. So they go up to Pittsburgh, and... Kathy says, well, you know the area better than I do. So Kathy's driving the Ratmobile, the car, the uh, Toyota, while Patty's driving the van. Well, sometimes Kathy's not exactly the brightest bulb in the box either. She's following Patty, and she lets somebody get in front of her. And, <laughs> well, you know what happened next. The ratty one disappears. And Kathy's driving along, and instead of stopping and seeing if the ratty one will turn around, she keeps going. Ratty one is nowhere to be found. So Kathy drives around for a while, doesn't double back, and I told her this is what you do when you get separated from someone you're following. You don't just keep going and assuming what if they made a turn or something. So Kathy takes the car back to her house. In the meantime, the ratty one is out in the road somewhere. And the last I knew as of last night, <laughs> who knows what evil lurks on the roads of California? The ratty one do. So I don't know if the ratty one ever came back to Kathy's or back to her house or whatever. Kathy and I got a big fight about it because I said now she's got three cars. She spends her last dollar on the on new Ratmobile or a new used Ratmobile that has problems, according to Ratty Patty, <laughs> and nobody knows where the hell she is. You can't make this stuff up. I think that's going to be my catchphrase for all Ratty Patty videos. I don't like Patty in some ways. She's very mean to me, and she's very mean and cruel to Kathy. I got another video to do in a minute. But it's stupid to spend your last dollar on a car or a van, and you don't have any money for the rest of the month, and you know, oh yeah, uh, there's another thing. <laughs> the car hasn't been registered since 2012, which is going to cost the ratty one a small fortune, plus it will need to get smogged, and who knows what else is wrong with it, for 250 bucks. You buy this sort of thing if you're a mechanic, and you could fix it up, and you have a shop, and you have the parts and the knowledge. Ratty Petty didn't have any of that. She takes things to a mechanic. And uh, so I don't know what's going on. I think it's just hilarious. And so incredibly stupid in that show. And I, I told Kathy, when you get your own car, it's time to disassociate yourself from the ratty one. Because I'm tired of hearing about the ratty patty stories, even though I could probably do one a day for years. And we got in a big fight over it. Um, 
I lost my temper. So I started yelling at Kathy, quit telling me this stuff. I'm sick of it. You're aggravating it. I don't feel well. You're aggravating the hell of me with it. You keep bitching about Ratty Patty. Just get your own car and tell Ratty Patty, go get hosed. Go stuff it. Go to hell. So, because every time I get on the phone with Kathy, I want to see how she's doing. I hear, I get 20 minutes of Ratty Patty. It's like we could send this down to Al-Qaeda or, or Gitmo and torture them with Ratty Patty stories and probably all kill themselves. Anyway, that's the latest Ratty Patty story. I uh, got one more, although I'm a little unclear of what movie this is that uh, Kathy wanted to go see, but I'll, I'll discuss that in a minute. Oh, one personal note. Uh, Paladin from Belgab. Quit advising me or trying to advise me on weight loss, diet, and all that other crap. The biggest thing for weight loss and diet would be to someone to send me enough money that I could buy fruits and vegetables and eat the right stuff. All the diet advice ain't going to do any good, and you've done nothing for years but attack me on the musings thread on Belgab. I wouldn't listen to you if you walked in with bars of gold and Kate up and delivered uh, non-stop hamburgers 24 hours a day. You're a troll. You think I'm going to follow your advice? Hell no. All right. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. I'll be back in a minute with another Ratty Patty video. Have a great Sunday, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.